Hi, we're going to keep talking some more about the digestive system today and we'll learn a little bit more about it and we'll color some um, pictures of the digestive system. So you'll need to have that paper with you. Let's start with a book and we'll review some of the information that we learned yesterday. Okay, so this book is called The Digestive System. Here we go. What is the digestive system? The digestive system is a group of organs. These organs work together to change food into nutrients. This system also removes waste. The human body runs on nutrients. Nutrients come from the food we eat. The digestive system is about 30 feet long. That's very long. That was about like um, a really big, that's a big room across 30 feet is big. If you picture me, I'm five feet, just a little bit over five feet. So you'd have to line up six of me head to toe to get 30 feet. It's pretty big. All the food we eat passes through. It, it includes the mouth, esophagus, we knew this, stomach. It also includes the small intestines, the large intestines, and the anus. How does the digestive system work? The mouth makes, oh, here we go. Digestion begins in the mouth. Food gets broken down when it is chewed. The mouth makes saliva. It is filled with enzymes that break down food. Saliva also makes food wet. This makes it easier to swallow. Huh, that's interesting. Food enters a long tube called the esophagus. Here we are, the esophagus. Muscles in the tube push food into the stomach. Here's the stomach. The stomach mix, and this is a close-up of the stomach over here in this picture. The stomach mixes the food with acids. This breaks the food down e even more. And remember when it gets broken down into this mushy, mushy kind of food and acid mix, um, what is that? It's the same as what we would see if we vomit, right? Then the food passes into the small intestine. This is the small intestine right in there. Other organs go to work. The pancreas, here's the picture, here's a picture of the pancreas, releases enzymes. They break down the food too. And bile from the liver moves into the gallbladder, which is right there. The gallbladder releases bile into the small intestines to break down fat. So the bile and enzymes help the food as it moves through the small intestines to break, it helps break down the food. Vili, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that. I'm gonna say vili, vili line the walls of the small intestine where they collect nutrients. They look like little fingers. See that? And here's a picture of what it looks like, this. Villi inside the small intestines, they collect nutrients from digested food. Nutrients en enter the blood through villi. The blood carries the nutrients through the body. The food that remains moves to the large intestine. Here's the large intestine. It came from the small intestine and it moves into the large intestine. Some water moves there too. The large intestine removes the water. Remember, we also learned that it got the salt out of food too. Solid waste is left and it leaves the body through the anus. And we know what that's called, right? That waste product that's left over, that's poop. Why is the digestive system important? The nutrients we get from food give us energy. We use energy to learn. We use it to work. We use it to play sports. And this is an experiment that you can do. And we'll kind of skip this page for now, but I'll tell you that it involves taking a piece of bread and some water and you put it in a sealed bag. And then you use your hands to mush it up, kind of like how it would be in the stomach where the food mixes with acid. And eventually it becomes kind of like a mushy substance, like kind of like what happens when food's digesting in our um, stomach. Eating a balanced diet and drinking water keeps the digestive system healthy. Next time you eat, you will know what is happening to your food. 
So next time you eat, you'll be able to think about how your food is traveling through your body and how your body is getting nutrients from the food. It's fascinating. I think it's very interesting. Um, so let's go ahead and work on our paper together. So you'll need something to color with like colored pencils or crayons and your paper. I'm going to share my screen, my um, camera type screen so you can see the paper and we'll work on it together. Okay, here we go. So I want you to think about as we start where the food goes first. So here's a picture of a girl and she's eating an apple. Okay, so it says with the words up here, it says when you eat, you taste food with your tongue and chew it into pieces. When you swallow, pieces of food move down the esophagus. So number one up here is your tongue and your mouth, right? And that's where the very first part of digestion happens. So let's go ahead and color our mouth and tongue. It's number one. And I'm going to just use a red for that. Okay. And usually food stays in this part of our, the digestive system in our mouth for about a minute. Depends how many, how much chewing you do, but usually you should really give your food really good chewing because then it makes it easier on the rest of your body if you chew your food really well. So stays in our mouth for about a minute. And then when you swallow food, it moves down your esophagus. Usually it takes about two to three seconds for our food to get down our esophagus. And we're going to color in number two, which is our esophagus. It takes about two to three minutes for food to get down the esophagus to our stomach, which is number three. And in the stomach, so I'm using like pinks and reds and peachy colors, oranges. In the stomach, I think I might use more of a pinky for the stomach. The food stays in our stomach for three to five hours. Okay, so here's our stomach. And these are averages. So sometimes it might be a little different, but you this is an average. So usually food would stay in your stomach for about three to five hours. And then we'll go to the small, or wait, no, I'm sorry, excuse me. In the stomach, it stays here for two to four hours. And then it goes from the stomach to the small intestine, which is number four. You can see four here. So anywhere you see the number four, we're going to color that now. Okay, and so it stays in our small intestine. This is where it says three to five hours in the small intestine. So about one minute in the mouth, two to three seconds in the esophagus, two to, five, two to four hours in the stomach, so two to four hours, and then in the small intestine, three to five hours, okay? So, so far, this is pretty quick. So here we are in the small intestine. Oh, and I wanted to tell you um, how long. So the small intestine, we said is smaller in diameter. So the if the large intestine were like this, the small intestine is like that. It's smaller in diameter, right? It's not smaller in length, smaller in diameter. Um, I want to tell you how long the small intestine is. I don't remember off the top of my head. I read it and I'm just going to look real quick so I can tell you. Let's see. About 22 feet. 22 feet. So we said before earlier, the whole digestive system is about 30 feet, but the small intestine is 22 feet. That is long. If you want to, you could get out a tape measure and ask someone in your family to help you measure out 22 feet. So that would be about mm, four of me and a little bit more. That's long, 
22 feet. Okay. So we said we did the small intestines and remember we said that um, the food would stay in the small intestines for three to five hours. And then we're on to the um, large intestines. I'm trying to find a good brown here, like a darker brown. We keep picking up purples instead of browns. There's a brown. So we'll say large intestines, and this is long. Um, food can stay in your large intestines for 10 hours to several days. So this is where our food spends the most amount of time, 10 hours to even several days in this large intestine. Okay, so color in your large intestine, that's number five. Large intestine. And then finally it gets to the rectum, which is right here. And in the book we just read, they called it the anus. And remember your large intestine also called the colon, um, the anus. And this is where the waste is removed, right? Your, and it comes out as poop in the end. But remember as you go through, so here your food is turned into kind of a mush in your stomach. And then it goes through the small intestines and there's bile and enzymes from the pancreas and the liver that help digest food even more and get the nutrients out of your food. And then it heads into the large intestine. And remember your large intestine is taking out the water and the salt. And then anything that's left is just waste. That's leftover stuff. And that's what comes out your rectum as poop. So that's the waste product, okay? So color in each of those. And then what I want you, and if you want to, you can go ahead and color in the rest of the girl. But what I want you to do is take this paper and bring it to someone in your house. So a family member, even one of your pets, or even a stuffy. But I want you to tell them about the journey that food takes as it goes through your digestive system, okay? Where, <clears throat> where does it go first and next and then and then and then? And where does it end up? If you remember how long it spends in each of those times, you can share that. Um, but, and tell also, if you can, tell the different jobs that each of those parts of your body do. How do they help in digestion? Okay, so if you want to, you can finish coloring that, but I definitely want you to take this and share it with someone and tell them everything you know about the digestive system. Okay. That's it for today. See you later, friends.